If a brain implant could treat your depression, would you accept it? After encouraging findings with a first patient, U.S. researchers are confident that an electrical implant that is linked to the brain and placed in the skull may detect and cure severe depression. 36-year-old Sarah, who had the gadget implanted more than a year ago, claims it has changed her life. Although the little pack in her head is constantly on, it only sends her an impulse when it thinks she might need it. The experimental investigation is detailed in the journal Nature Medicine. Although it is too soon to determine if it will benefit other people with difficult-to-treat depression, like Sarah, the researchers from University of California, San Francisco are optimistic and anticipate more studies. Deflationary Circuits The trial treatment has only ever been used on Sarah. In recent years, she had undergone a string of unsuccessful therapies, including electroconvulsive therapy and antidepressants. Although the operation may seem frightening, Sarah stated the possibility of receiving any kind of relief would be preferable than the darkness she had been going through. I had used every available form of therapy. My day-to-day -day activities had become so limited. Every day, I felt tormented. I hardly did anything or moved at all. Small holes had to be made in her skull during surgery to accommodate the cables that would monitor and stimulate her brain. Under her scalp and hair, in the bone, was the box that held the battery and the pulse generator. Sarah was asleep during the surgery, which took place under general anesthesia and required a whole workday. Sarah claims that she experienced euphoria upon awakening. My life immediately improved when the implant was switched on. My life was once more enjoyable. The suicide ideas stopped after a few weeks. When I was at my lowest point, all I saw was what was ugly. Sarah has had no negative effects and is still doing well a year later. The tool has prevented my depression from becoming worse, allowing me to reclaim my best self and start over with a life that is worth living. Though she can't feel the device when it goes off, she claims, I could probably tell you within 15 minutes that it has gone off because of a sense of alertness and energy or the positivity I will feel. What it does, the discovery of Sarah's depression circuits in her brain, according to researcher and psychiatrist Dr. Catherine Skangos of the university, allowed for the development. We discovered one region, the ventral striatum, where activation consistently removed her depressive symptoms. Additionally, we discovered a brain activity region in the amygdala that could forecast when her symptoms would be at their worst. In order to evaluate the experimental therapy and see whether it may benefit more patients with severe depression and potentially other ailments as well, doctors say a great deal more study is required. It at all. In that regard, we are quite enthusiastic about this. Right now, the field needs it so much. To be clear, this is not an evidence of the effectiveness of this strategy, said Dr. Edward Chan, the neurosurgeon who installed the gadget. It's really just the first demonstration of this working in someone, and we have a lot of work ahead of us as a field to validate these results to see if this actually is something that will be enduring as a treatment option. Neuroscience specialist Professor Jonathan Reuser from University College London in the UK said, Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more notifications. See you next time.